Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2 with Covert Infiltration. So, we have a lot going on right now. We got two missions waiting. The third one is ready to go. The infiltrated one. And there's a fourth one still in progress. So, we do have the sabotage transmitter mission right here, which will expire in 10 hours. I plan to do this, but we'll be doing this after neutralize target mission right here. So this is 100% infiltrated. I will not be waiting for any more bonuses here. We'll be doing it right away to free up the squad and we will get a facility lead and we'll delay facility construction with this, which is definitely something I want to do. So this is the squad we're bringing. Let's go then. Should be interesting. We might get the chosen in this one. The aliens. So we're moving in to take care of All right, Avatar collaborator. The target of this operation is a human collaborator we suspect is involved in the Avatar project. The only way to find a lead on the aliens' facilities is to take them alive. Killing them won't accomplish anything aside from a small construction delay. Okay, so we need to capture this person. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Let's go then. We still got the vigilance active. I really hope it will go away soon. It's really annoying. I've spotted an alien okay, here's a group, another muton. I do have a remote start. Hopefully I'll get a chance to use it. But we shall see about that. I will scout around with a reaper here. Yeah, I was actually uh, in range if that was a regular soldier. I'm glad I got the reaper for this. So I suppose I'll move a bit closer. We aren't very far away, so there's no need to take an unnecessary risk. Shame I can't go to this high ground over here. I can do it with Ramella, but there's no cover over there. I will move. So probably not the best idea ever. Closing on target position now. Anyway, let's just set up a little bit further away from that group. Because I assume it might move in my general direction. So I don't want to risk too much. Uh, okay, over here is fine. Again, just not too close. I'll overwatch just in case. Hopefully it won't be needed. Yeah, they are moving towards me. That's why I didn't move too close. And now they changed their mind? Okay, okay. Yeah, mutons are going to be nasty right now. Okay, they aren't too close to me. But I kind of really want to get rid of that muton. 80% with a long strider. So that's probably worth doing. The only problem is that if he stays back here, so for example, he moves into full cover right here, I will not be able to kill him on this turn. Well, maybe I will, but I'll have to play more aggressively to do that. Let's maybe overwatch on someone here. I suppose Ambrosian can overwatch. Just move a little bit closer. What's the hack? Uh, targeting, 71%. Wait, what's that? I probably want to avoid map alert right now. Okay, soldier aim increased by 15 and crit chance increased by 25 for 3 turns. I might try this. But if I fail, it will be bad. And by try, I mean not literally right now. After I lose concealment. Definitely not right now. <laughs> that would be a really bad idea. Okay, so let's overwatch with her. And I think I'll keep everyone else. For now. And let's take a shot at that muton. Hopefully I'll hit. Let's go. And we missed. Of course we did. 
That is not great. I'm not happy about that. Let's see if we hit with a reaction shot. Yep, that makes up for it a little bit. Now I probably want a grenade. I do have a claymore. I don't think I want to waste that right now. Remote start will not do me much good. Yeah, I think I'm going to need a grenade. So we have a few options. I could use my actual grenadier. I would have to move a little bit closer. We can use grapple somewhere. It would have to be like up here or something. I could also just move closer. I can't quite move like I would want to. I do have teamwork, so I can use teamwork after this. Okay, let's move closer and I'll use teamwork after. Here. So this way I can hit the Muton, the Stun Lancer, and hopefully destroy the recover. Wait, can I actually do that? Yes. So that should also destroy the recover. And we should be able to kill both, hopefully. There it is. That's good. So this would be a kill on the Stun Lancer, unless I get insanely unlucky. I'm taking that shot. There it is. That's 9 crit. We will stay concealed. So now I can take one shot from where I'm standing. It's only 54%. But the idea is that I'll be using teamwork. Or I can use teamwork first. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, let's kill the Muton. Now it should be easy. He's dead already. And then we have this guy. So in theory I could throw a grenade. Not sure if I really want to. And I think it might have to be Ramela actually. If I do that. Yes. So I probably don't want to waste a grenade all that much. However, if I kill the stun lancer with a grenade, I wouldn't have to use teamwork. But what's probably going to happen is that I'll throw a grenade and then he will fall to the ground behind full cover right here. So that would be a bad outcome. Because even at one health, he can still charge me and do damage. So, yeah. Yeah, in theory, I can just stand over here, but I don't think that's a particularly good idea. <laughs> no, probably not. We'll just pop teamwork. That was the plan, so that's what I'll do. He has six health. Ambrosin has five. All right, well, over here we'll do. And then I can just overwatch, I suppose. I will watch. Okay, let's just overwatch with both. Overwatch. If I get really lucky, I might kill him, but I'm not holding my breath. And yeah, the Chosen is here. That's not super surprising. The mission basically said this might be the case. The I should be able to deal with that. I will have to deal with her. The chosen assassin is moving near your yeah, yeah, I noticed. Nice shot. Okay, can we actually kill him? I only need four more damage. There we go, very nice. So that actually worked. Now we can grab the loot. Some superior mods would be nice at this point, I'm just saying. Advanced repeater. All right, I suppose that's okay. Now the other load. I will reposition. Hostile VIP. Right. Yes, we do want to capture the VIP. Elerium core, advanced laser sight. All right. So here's a pretty big group. I'm pretty sure that's two groups. 
So here's the tricky part. I can obviously use remote start, but I don't want to kill the VIP. I can use it like this. This would not hit the other car and it would not hit the VIP. So that's probably what I want to do. And not literally right now on this turn. I don't think they are going to move, but just in case they do, we can set up somewhere in the overwatch. Yeah, let's not move too close. If they do move, that would probably be the best case scenario. If I could get some overwatch. Okay, steady weapon. We still got that hack. But I don't think I want to use that right now. Let's see if they are going to move or not. Perhaps we can get some reaction shots going. I wouldn't mind that. Scanning. And if not, I can consider remote start. And yeah, we don't have the chosen coming, obviously. Okay, so we can consider remote start. I would hit the Pathfinder and the Sectoid. So I think that's fine. Can I do it from full cover somewhere? Well, over here probably. That might be a little bit better. Okay, I don't have line of sight like this, apparently. Uh, I thought I'll have it, but alas. Let's use that opportunity to move a little bit closer here. So this would get me revealed, sadly. I can go here, but then I will not have a steady weapon on this turn. But I need this to have better line of sight. Otherwise, this van will block my line of sight, most likely. I could also set up on the high ground, but this would be too close. They would see me over there. I can grapple up there once we engage them with Ramella. Okay, the assassin is still coming. I'm well aware of that. Alright, Overwatch. Yeah, I can't move much closer than this. I can move a little bit closer. Moving on target location. On Overwatch. I'm on it. Okay, Overwatch. Yep, there's the assassin. The it would be nice to kill the assassin before engaging this pod. But that might be a little bit hard the with the assassin. We'll see. It depends on where she's going to move. Okay, assault trooper. And that's kind of a nothing burger. Now he's dead. Uh, or not. Uh, he will be. The wind carries me. Okay. You've proven resilient in the face of overwhelming odds. Yeah. And still you've well, I so can kill it with stock. It worth it? I suppose I'll just do that. Yeah, again, I don't want to move too close. I guess I'll just take a shot from over here and kill that guy. We are not in a huge rush, but on the other hand, I don't want to wait too long. And I'll probably have to pass on that load. I could grab it with a Reaper, but if the Assassin reveals me over here, that would be extremely bad. I'm going to move a little bit towards my squad here. And the reload. This is tempting, but 29% chance to fail. I'm not too excited about that. Let's just overwatch here, shall we? I think that's perfectly fine. A steady weapon on Long Strider. Overwatch on everyone else. Hopefully we can get something done. Okay, here comes the assassin. All right, good. She missed. So it was you are outmatched. All right, now I can use a grenade. Is it this close enough? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so this will be extra damage and I also have total combat here. I have total combat and volatile mix. So this is good. 
this should destroy cover and break overwatch and shred the one armor. So perfect use for a grenade. There it is. I can probably kill her right now. So we'll kill her and then we'll engage the pod. We still have 11 turns. Maybe I can even grab the loot while doing all that. So long strider. After the third hit, we'll start doing extra damage because of her weakness. So I'll use magnetic weapons for that. So like this one. Uh, that will kick in already. It includes the third shot. All right. There we go, 13 critical. She's as good as dead, to be honest. Yeah, she's basically already dead. Nice. I could probably get a killing blow with the Reaper, but I'd rather go grab this loot with the Reaper on this turn. So it doesn't really matter who's going to kill her. Ramela will get a promotion from this mission. Who's close? Is anyone else close? Longstrider basically already got it. Yeah, it doesn't really matter that much, I suppose. Just take that shot. And done. You can't handle me. Very nice. I'm glad that we got that out of the way. Now we can go grab the load. At one time, it would have been unthinkable that I might ever Even if it's not particularly useful load. Like a weapon mod I won't use. It's always worth some supplies. Right, let's not get revealed here. This is fine. Okay, what do we have? Autoloader, advent data pad. Yeah, that's nice. Advent data pad is worth either intel or decent amount of supplies. Okay, so now we can use remote start on the next turn. How close can we move? Yeah, not particularly close. I can't even stand over here. Sadly. I can't really move to the high ground. I could grapple, but I'm pretty sure this is too close. Yeah, that is too close. Okay, just reload then. It's pretty clear they are not going to move. So I can move a bit closer. Not that this changes anything, if I plan to use grapple anyway. But yeah, let's move a bit closer here. Like so. And I suppose that's that. 76% chance to shut down the mech. Yeah, I might utilize that. We'll see. Overwatch, just in case they suddenly decide to move. Which they shouldn't, but... You never know. Alright, so now we can use remote start. I think that's the best way to do this. That should be safe. This will all be outside of the explosion radius. And it will kill the Pathfinder. It will kill the Sectoid. So, yeah, that's a pretty good use of remote start, I would say. How about some full cover here? This might be a tiny little bit too close. Yeah, that's a bit too close. This was a good spot, but that's too far away. Where was it? Yeah, right here. Yeah, this is too close. A little bit too close. I suppose I can just go up here or something. Okay, let's just go up here. And then a remote start. Do I want Overwatch on anyone? Probably not, actually. Okay, no, probably not. I want them all available. Alright, let's go. Remote start. The mech should go down relatively easily. So that leaves us with the Sectoid, basically. I mean, with the Purifier. I was a bit worried the purifier might stand too close to the VIP, but fortunately 
he did not do that. All right, so the mech. I could hug the mech, but we can just kill it. I'm just checking all my options here. The only problem is limited amount of cover. And I'm just a little bit too far away with an X to take two shots on this turn. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. So I can grapple up here. Cover doesn't matter if I kill the mech, because that will leave us with a purifier. He won't shoot me. He uses a flamethrower and incendiary grenades. So cover doesn't really matter, especially when he's this far away. Now, I wouldn't mind shredding that mech first. I might just have to move forward and throw a grenade. That seems to be my best option. I suppose Thomas could do that. Nex could also do that. But she has a magnetic weapon. So does Thomas. Yeah, actually, Longstrider will do like the least damage over here. I think he should move forward. He will have 100% chance to hit. I'm just checking that purifier over there. Yeah, I could shoot the purifier with Thomas if I kill the mech without him. I can't shred it without a grenade. So I'll just have to use a grenade. All right, whatever, we'll use a grenade. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. We already killed seven enemies. So just shred that. Then we can shoot him or eat, whatever. Doesn't really matter too much who's going to do that. Uh, I can do some damage with combat protocol. Line of sight is a little bit awkward here. I'm just saying. Yeah, just a little bit. Tired of waiting around. All right, 86%. It would be nice to not miss this. All right, good. Armor still holding. So, Ambrosine. I hope it's worth it. Combat protocol might actually be a better idea. Oh yeah, it will kill it. Uh, basically granted. Might as well do that. And then we can probably kill the purifier. We can definitely kill the purifier. Yep. I have more than one way to do that. And he's dead. Okay, and that's a promotion. Let's go grab our VIP. There will probably be at least one more pod somewhere in here. So let's be prepared for that. I am just going to dash over here. That should be fine. Okay. Reload, probably. Reloading ammunition. All right. Let's go. No loot to grab, right? Nope. Still got nine turns. So there might still be one pod around here, but maybe not. I think I'll just play it safe and wait one more turn still. Yeah, we can grab him on the next turn. Meanwhile, I'll keep moving with everyone else. Oh, she will run. Uh, okay, whatever. That doesn't really matter all that much. Hey, come back here. Where do you think you're going? Alright, go, go, go. Evac is over there, on the left. Covering distance. Let's go, everyone. Well no done. slacking on the job. Double time. I'm assuming there might be one more pod. 
doesn't look like that's the case, but yeah, I'd rather be careful here. I don't want anyone to get wounded. Alright, knock out the VIP. Status confirmed. Target package. And we can get the heck out of here. I'm going. I'll still pop steady weapon. Again, just in case. There's no reason not to really. I advance. Got it. Okay, this is all good. Overwatch. I think we're basically done. Okay, some reinforcements coming, we can deal with them. I'll try to not stand right next to them, because we started seeing purifiers now. I wouldn't want to get blasted by a purifier. <laughs> that would be pretty bad. So, something like this. Just keep minimal distance. We will be able to get out on the next turn with everyone. Just keep some distance from where they drop. Yeah, everyone will be in range. Definitely. This is fine. I suppose the Longstrider can move one more time. He can't overwatch like this anyway. Alright, so now overwatch on everyone. Hopefully we'll kill this, whatever this is. This was a pretty smooth mission. Okay, that's an Assault Trooper, a Stun Lancer, two Stun Lancers. That is a pretty nasty reinforcement pod, actually. Two Stun Lancers. And now it's one. Yes, I'm sure you will. Actually, it's still two Stun Lancers. We killed the Assault Trooper. But we're getting out now. Let me double check. Everyone should be. Oh. Really? I'm one tile too far away? What the heck, bro? Oh, wow. Okay. I guess I'm just going to kill them then. Can I actually kill them? Okay. I still have some grenades. Right? At least one. Do I, though? I can grapple here and flank him, but I'll have to move. Do I really not have grenades? Yes, I have one. Okay, so let's go here and throw a grenade at this guy. Right here. And that should destroy cover, hopefully. Okay, pretty awkward grenade throw, but whatever. There you go. I might have to drop the VIP for a moment. But we'll see, maybe not. Can anyone flank that stun lancer? Yeah, that did nothing to his cover. I think I'll have to move and then grapple up here. But that's not guaranteed 5 damage. Alright, well, the other stun lancer. In theory, I can also use flashbang. I can take a 25 shot or I can throw a grenade. Well, if this hits, that will kill him. Let's try that. Got it. Nice one. Well done. And that's a promotion to Sergeant. Alright, let's finish this and get the heck out, shall we? I suppose it was worth staying to kill them. That is a little bit of extra experience. I won't say no to more experience. Alright, now we are definitely getting out. Let's go. Alright, get the VIP out first. Done. Alright, we're done. Go, go, go. That was a pretty smooth mission. I did get quite lucky with the assassin here. Okay, done. Oh yeah, right, a long strider. <laughs> Wait for me, guys! Wait for me! Don't leave me here! Evac confirmed. 
Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. All right, flawless mission. Now we have some other stuff to do. Twenty years of peace and prosperity will not be undone by the. I have to say, I'm really enjoying CI so far. All right, let's check our promotions here. We can take them down. That's probably going to be Whiplash. Especially since that doesn't cost an action. So, there you go. Tactical rigging at Captain. And Saturation fire at Colonel. Alright, Long Strider. So, that's going to be Damn God Ground. Okay, looking good. That's our loot. We got a facility lead and we delayed facility construction. So now I have two leads. Low on engineers. Yeah, I'm aware. We're working on it, alright? That's 84 supplies right now. So next up, we'll be doing right here. The sabotage transmitter mission. That will counter a gun to ground dark event, which would make the black market unavailable. The mission timer will be decreased by one and the lost will be present. So this is a sabotage transmitter mission. We got 10 hours still, 9 hours. Is anyone coming back in 9 hours? Uh, 11 hours for Devalish. So I guess that's a no. Okay, I guess that's a no. But I can feel the squad. Without any tired people. I never got yeah, we can feel the squad. Doctor, but uh, what exactly did you do before the invasion? At one time, I was employed as a biochemist. I'd say we're lucky to have you with us. All right. Appreciate the sentiment. Let's do this. So let's set out the squad. Setting course for. And then after that, East what was that other mission again? Uh, destroy alien relay to counter a hidden event, but we got five days to do this. This one also has advent loot. Yeah, I got five days to do this, so I will get more people back in five days. I'm glad I managed to successfully do all four of these missions. And then obviously we got this. Oh yeah, that's not an actual mission. Uh, this is an actual mission right here. Rescue scientist. So that's the one right here. So I could over infiltrate that one if I need to. We got six people setting up over there. Anyway, back to the transmitter mission. Let's see who we can bring here. I can also make armor now. So let's check. 24 supplies, two trooper corpses, four alloys. I did sell some trooper corpses. But I should still have a good amount. Let me check how many trooper corpses I have. I have 30 trooper corpses. Okay, that's reasonable. Do I want to sell anything right now? Probably not. I could sell a malarium core or something, but no, not right now. I probably shouldn't have moved there. All right, so let's check really quick who's coming here. I think I'll have to launch like right now without leaving to Geoscape because the timer will basically be at zero now. Varazir is obviously coming. That's a no-brainer. Ava is coming. Who's his buddy again? Bob. Uh, Bob is tired, so I don't think Bob is coming. Ramona. Next. Okay. Clownfish, Ambrosine. Next. That would work just fine, I think. Also, Manti. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, his buddies with Clownfish. So that works. And he's not tired. So that gives us what? Templar, Shinobi, Ranger, Gunner, and Technical. I could bring Ambrosine. I don't need her for this mission, but I don't want to level her up. 
because of that hacking bonus. Still, maybe better to keep her for a mission where I'll actually need a specialist. Oh yeah, right, let's bring Jeremy, uh, our Reaper here. I definitely want to level up the Reaper, obviously. So now... Okay, I'm not totally sure if I can leave now without making this mission go away. I think I can. <laughs> it would be a little bit awkward if I lost the chance to do this mission because I went to the black market. Right, the first thing I want is a new weapon for the Templar. Obviously. Tempest Gauntlets, that's 30 supplies and 6 alloys. Absolutely need that. I probably want a better armor for him, to be honest. It's pretty expensive for just one specific person. And he does have emergency life support. So... Yeah. Wait, how is there no difference here? What? Wait, what? How is this exactly the same? That seems like a mistake. Okay, that's kind of weird. That should not be the exact same damage. What the heck? Okay, that seems like a mistake. That should not be the same exact damage right there. But alright. That is kind of weird. Anyway, I got how many supplies left? 54. How's health of everyone here? Who has the worst health? I have several people with 6. I can probably just ignore the armor right now. What kinds of weapons do we have? There's the magnetic rifle. I think I have advanced stock available now. Yeah, right here. The magnetic rifle with advanced stock, so we'll bring that. Yeah, let's keep the machine gun here with scope. And uh, right. I got one more magnetic rifle. Uh, two more, actually. Both with stock. And I got the improvised one. Alright, works for me. Here you go. How about a med kit? On oh, at least one person here. Is there a med kit? Yep, right there. And maybe a flashbang. This mission will have the lost. But... Okay, let's grab a flashbang, in case I end up needing it. There you go, flashbang. I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I do have some supplies left, so I could still make something. But there's no need. I'm a little bit conflicted about plated Templar armor. It's 30 supplies to get armor for a single person. And he does have 8 health, I think he'll be fine. So alright, this is the group, we're doing it with this group. However, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, to hug the Advent Network, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.